coming up with Chandra Vikramasinghe. Vikramasinghe. <laughs> Uh, talk about that. That's the cosmic womb, correct? Correct. Well, Chandra Prima Singh is uh, retired now, but he was professor of astro astrophysics, uh, cosmology, uh, physics, mathematics, uh, classical physics, quantum mechanics at the University of Cardiff uh, and Cambridge in the, in the United Kingdom. He is of Ceylonese or Sri Lankan origin. Uh, and uh, I've met Chandra in the middle 90s. Uh, it's a long story, but we, we, we bumped into each other as these things go. And we've long uh, uh, talked about the possibility of doing a book together. The book is going to examine uh, the cutting edge, the, 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 what I call the, the frontiers of knowledge, the, the very latest in uh, cosmology, in astrobiology, in, in neuroscience. Uh, in computer technology and look into the possibility of, of comparing uh, what comes out of all this, uh, where we stand today, with what the ancients are saying in their cosmological texts. Because surprisingly, uh, at least two bodies of texts, and I'm sure in the United States there are also many, many references to cosmological uh, stories, uh, but particularly the ancient Egyptians and the ancient Indians, the Vedic texts in India, uh, surprisingly, uh, not only uh, explain uh, uh, the cosmos and the existence of life in terms of how modern scientists explain it, but they give us numbers, and particularly the Great Pyramid, where we're extracting certain numbers from the design of these monuments that uh, are cosmological and uh, astrophysical. It's, it's rather bizarre, but that's so the purpose of this book is to bring all this together and, uh, and make it popular for the general public. But the working title is Cosmic Womb. Uh, it may well change in due course, uh, depending on the publisher's uh, ideas. Uh, it is due to be published sometime in, April, in the spring of 2017. There you are.